ladies and gentlemen. New York just passed a bill that will allow Congress to finally get Trump's tax returns. He has been fighting like hell and subpoena, uh, going everywhere. And guess what? They're going to get it after all. So the state is cooperating. So I don't know what Trump is going to do now that they passed a bill just because of Trump. Mm -mm -mm. So this is NBC News, May 8th. 2019, New York State Senate passes bill allowing Congress to get Trump's tax returns. Man, he's going to have a meltdown. We already know how bad it is, you know, but the ones that they will get at least will be more recent. So let's get into this. New York State Senate on Wednesday passed a bill that would make it easier for Congress to obtain President Donald Trump's state tax returns, advancing a bill that Governor Andrew Cuomo has said he will sign if it reaches his desk. The bill called the Trust Act passed by a 39 to 21 vote. The bill would amend state law to permit the State Department of Taxation and Finance Commissioner to release any state tax return requested by the leaders of the House Ways and Means Committee, the Senate Finance Committee, or the Joint Committee on Taxation for any specific legitimate legislative purpose. Existing laws generally prohibit such a release. So New York is changing their laws just so Congress can get Trump's tax returns. Mm -mm -mm. Damn, somebody in that state don't like him. <laughs> Those congressional committees would have to file a request with the state only after efforts to gain access to federal filings, uh, tax filings through the Treasury Department failed. The bill would apply to Trump's state returns and not the federal ones currently at the center of a battle between the House and the Treasury Department. But those returns would provide a trove of information as New York serves as the headquarters of the president's business and which he has served as his home. So the state of New York is about to make everything easier for Congress. Though the legislation only applies to the president's state returns and not the federal ones currently at the center of the Washington battle, the tax filings are likely to contain much of the same information congressional lawmakers are seeking from his federal returns. Exactly, exactly. So in a sense, they will kind of have it. Donald Trump has broken 40 years of political tradition by not releasing his tax returns. State Senate Brad Hoyleman, a Democrat who sponsored the legislation, said in a statement, now his administration is precipitating um, the constitutional crisis by shielding the president from congressional oversight over those returns. Our systems of checks and balances is failing. New York is a special role and response, uh, New York has a special role and responsibility to step into the breach. I look forward to seeing the bill pass both houses and reach the governor's desk for a signature, he added. We must ensure that Congress can't be blocked in their attempts to hold even the highest elected officials in the land accountable to the American people. House Judiciary Committee Chairman Gerald Nedler said in a statement that the bill is a workaround to a White House that continues to obstruct and stonewall the uh, legitimate oversight work of Congress. 
The state return should generally match the federal return and obtaining it from New York State will enable us in Congress to perform our oversight function and maintain the rule of law, he added. Speaking from the Senate floor on Wednesday, Republican State Senate, uh, Senator Fred Asher said, everyday taxpayers are not amused by the legislative efforts. Well, you know, then you shouldn't have rules in place where anyone running for president must show their tax returns. You've got that in place. So you can't really complain. If you want to push back on the president, if you want to raise hell with the president, go ahead, he said. Run for a House seat. Run for the U.S. Senate. Both the Senate and the state assemblies where the bill was advanced to are under Democratic control. So you know it's going to pass. As is the governor's mansion. Last month in an interview, WAMC Cuomo said he supported the bill so long as it applies to any official elected in the state. So it looked like they're going to get it. If New York passed this thing, which it looks like they, they've passed it, it just got to be signed off by the government. I mean, the governor. So you really think about it. They're going to have what they're looking for. And there's nothing Trump can do. You see, they are changing the law <laughs> to get around Trump, refusing to show his recent tax returns. They found a way around them. I, I told you they were going to get it. I, I, I don't know why anybody would be shocked that they are ultimately going to get these returns and they will be published for everyone to see. And Trump is going to have a meltdown. So the White House did not immediately respond to a request for comment from NBC News. Additionally, the state Senate passed a bill on Wednesday that would allow state prosecutors to pursue charges against individuals pardoned by the president. So they are even looking at the people that Trump pardoned. They're going to be looking at anybody that he pardoned and still may throw charges on those people. Wow. New York Attorney General uh, Letitia James and Cuomo both endorsed the legislative push. The bill would create an exception to New York law, which prohibits the state from pros uh, prosecuting a person who has already been tried for the same crime by the federal government. The exception would make it easier for prosecutors to pursue a case against someone who received a presidential pardon. Damn. <laughs> I've never seen them do this with any other president, y'all. This is just this is deep. <laughs> so anybody that Trump pardons, the state is going to still have the right to prosecute and go after those people that are pardoned. Whew. <laughs> Damn. Legislation upholds the standards of fairness and justice at the core of the double jeopardy law and prevents it from being used as a tool to deny justice altogether, James tweeted. She added, the bill embodies a central component to the foundation of our democracy. The president, unlike a monarch, an uh, autorian uh, dictator, uh, is not above the law and our laws should apply to all people of this nation equally, including especially our leaders. The state assembly has not scheduled dates for votes on either bill or the tax legislation. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Woo. 2019 don't look like a very good year for Trump, y'all. He's having a bad year. And my guess, it's going to get worse. It really is. You know, I don't know what he's going to do. I really don't. And Mueller is due to testify on the 15th, which is next week. 
And Trump has already come out saying Mueller should not be testifying. I mean, as if anybody's going to listen to Trump. Oh, man, things are looking bad for this man big time. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.